Our Ashley Listrom has been here all day. And Ashley, you and I have talked quite a bit about how exciting this has all been. You actually spoke to some of those excited students who will actually get to perform here when it's all said and done. is so exciting and all of the students I've talked with have continued to echo that saying that they're just really filled with emotions for this future performing arts center. I'm feeling pretty stoked for this area. I think joy. I'm excited. That's I would say that's the best word for it. Students tonight reflecting on the soon to be performing arts center located in the heart of the arts and innovation district. This community will be so enriched by this venue, but more importantly by the people that animate it, that enliven it. Crews will combine three historic Main Street buildings into a 300 seat venue where CCU students and the city will then use the space for education and performances. It'll be a great thing for like tourists to enjoy and come like go to the beach and then come see a show. Yeah. It's also very huge for the university, like this kind of exposure. Knowing that our future is in good hands and the students' future as well is just very exciting and very happy feeling overall, yeah. CCU will get to use the space for 150 days out of the year. It's an opportunity some students say will be life-changing. Just having this like extra space down here in the heart of Myrtle Beach will definitely increase our turnout for future shows. It would be great to just have more community engagement. Until the theater is built, many students are simply left dreaming of what they hope to one day perform on the new stages. Manifesting of Shakespeare in a few years. Shakespeare, let's get Shakespeare to Myrtle Beach, why not? Construction is set to begin early next month with an opening date scheduled for the summer of 2026. Live in Myrtle Beach, Ashley Listrom, WMBF News.